When was the last time you thought, I'm too old for this? Maybe it was when you found yourself still living with your parents. Or when you realized you were the oldest person at the party. Or when you woke up after the party. Maybe you felt too old to start over in a new job or career. Or felt too old to find a new partner. Maybe you felt too old to change your ways. Or do something you've never done before. Feeling too old for something reflects our views on aging. Views on aging are what we associate with different age groups and getting older, including our ideas about age-appropriate behavior. We all have views on aging in general, as well as views on our own aging. In fact, you probably have many different views on aging. Some correspond with hopes and ideals, some are neutral, and some are perhaps fraught with worry and fear. Some views on aging correspond more, and others less, with reality. Our views on aging are shaped by our culture, our experiences with other people, and the media, as well as our feelings about the end of life. Views on aging are important because they affect how we make sense of our experiences, as well as how we perceive and make sense of other people. and how we react to reminders that we are getting older too. Views on aging are important because they shape the choices we make as we get older. And hence impact how we actually change over time. And even how long we live. Views on aging also affect how we treat other people, as well as how other people treat us. Being aware of and questioning our views on aging can help us make more conscious decisions and treat people fairly. Hmm. We all have views on aging. What are yours?